Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here again I watched another video sent to me by Anton, a dear friend of mine, where people claim that the Vida He is a book, a very ancient book discovered uh, in the Greek Orthodox uh, Patriarchate in the 19th century which apparently goes back to the end of the first century AD or let's say beginning or half of the second century well the persons who made this uh, YouTube claim that it denies the divinity of Christ here again the same thing as what have been said by the same people and in that same YouTube about the letter of St. James. Well, let us be clear about things with respect and love for all, even if, God forbid, the Bible, the Old Testament, or the New Testament were manipulated or falsified, as you would say in Arabic, muharraf, this does not mean logically automatically that another book is authentic and holy when you are saying that so to say sorry this this car or this phone is out of order this does not mean that another phone is working we are only talking about this phone we are only talking about this book the new testament we are only talking about the didache let's not take it as a proof that another book, let's say that of Buddha, or uh, that it's true, that book is true, that is not logical or logic to say, since your book is wrong, then mine is right. Well, again, let's come to the point. <clears throat> this book, the Vivahi, if you don't know the Greek at least modern pronunciation, you may say didache. Didache means teaching. Bears, of course, the prints of authentic Christian faith, although it focuses on ethics and on rights, R-I-T-E-S but it does not at all deny the divinity of Christ as it is claimed in that YouTube. Well, let us see the title. Again, as we say in Arabic, اقرأ المكتوب من عنوان اقرأ الرسالة من عنوانها Read the letter from its title. The title already tells you about the content. And here goes the title in Greek. إِذِذَهِ to Kiryu Yisu is Taethni. Meaning in plain English, the teaching or the doctrine, the teaching of the Lord Jesus to Kiryu Yisu to the nations, to the heathens, to the Gentile, following the, let's say, the twelve apostles. Now, Already in the first part, paragraph 3, the, the gospel is quoted, I mean Jesus Christ is quoted saying, bless those who curse you. We find also quotations of the letters of St. Paul, among others, to the Ephesians, to the Romans, to the Colossians. How about the divinity of Christ? Well, let's take uh, number three, first paragraph, giving instructions about baptism and how people should be christened. The Didachi 
says directly, literally, textually, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Needless, it goes without saying, but much better if we say it, that here you have the essential of Christian faith, the Most Holy Trinity, where Christ, as the Word of God, is one with the Father and with the Holy Spirit, having one name. Well, actually, the Arabic-speaking theologians express it in a very simple way, following John 1.1 1, 1 and 1 John 1.1, 1, 1, namely, God, His Word. It's, we are not talking about someone and, uh, uh, and his, his Son, His Son in the flesh. God, His Word, His Spirit. So, three paragraph one. Now, in number eight, paragraph two, we read about uh, our Father. As the Lord, O Kyrios, as the Lord, meaning the Lord Jesus, as the Lord taught us in His Gospel, and then, the Vida, he quotes Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Well, our friends in that YouTube claim that the divinity of Christ had been denied in the Vida, he, as Jesus was said to be the slave, the servant of God, and if this you find in Didachi 10, paragraphs 2 to 3. Well, I am using here the Wieland Wilker 1924 edition. Well, here you don't have the word Zulos. Zulos, which you, we had for the slaves, the slaves the, in the social class of slaves. This you read in 4, paragraph 10. The slave and the female slave. Here we have another word, actually. It is, it is, sorry, pedion. And pedion means lad, L-A-D. It means young man. And we find it also in the gospel. So, Pedion might also signify slave, but the word from as like pes, pedos, it means, might mean son, young man, and also slave. Anyway, why does the Dida he? use this word because in Isaiah, to the best of my knowledge, we have this word paedion, pedion. Here is my young man or my servant in whom I find my satisfaction. And this is in no way a contradiction. So look, Jesus in the Didachi is said at the same time to be Kyrios. He is said to be the Son in the Trinitarian formula. We have seen this in uh, Didachi 3.1. And so, talking about his human nature, about his humility, especially on the cross, he is called Pedion, also as fulfillment of Isaiah. In Vidahi 14, first paragraph, talking about Sunday, we have the expression Kiriaki Imera, which I believe you find also in Revelation 1.10. Kiriaki Imera or Imera tu Kiriu. 
the day of the Lord. The Lord meaning Jesus Christ. And in Didahi 16.8, he speaks about the Lord, Don Kirion, who will be coming on the clouds of the sky in his glory. Matthew 24.30, Matthew 26.64. All these texts, of course, denote directly or indirectly the divinity of Christ and uh, allow me to say that this has been a very quick, fast and swift look on the text of the Didache. Thanks such a lot.